This video is to demonstrate how to replace the internal assembly on an MKS isolation valve. Today, we will be replacing the internals in MKS valve LPV1 40 AK CNVS. This process is similar for most MKS isolation valves. Please be aware that if your valve is still under the MKS factory warranty, you should contact MKS for repair or replacement options as replacing internals and or seals during the covered warranty period will void the factory warranty. The internal replacement process quickly returns a valve to an as-new state and should be part of a regularly scheduled maintenance cycle. It is most easily done with the valve removed from a vacuum system, but can also be done while the valve is still installed. For safety reasons, do not attempt to disassemble the old valve internal. The assembly contains a powerful spring and a special fixture is required to compress and safely disassemble and assemble the internal. The materials needed for this job are the isolation valve. Once again, we are using valve number LPV1 40 AK CNVS. The LPV140 pneumatic internals kit number 1000010103, which includes the internals, replacement o rings, a small amount of fomble and vacuum grease to assist in the installation of the o rings, and replacement silver coated bolts. You will need a 532nd Allen wrench for removal of the bolts on the valve wrench for removal of the solenoid or pneumatic airline connection, gloves to protect your hands and prevent any oils or contaminants from getting into or onto the valve. You may also require a soft non-stainless steel tool to assist in removing seal material that could be stuck to the inside of the valve such as this nylon knife that I have here. Cleaning solution such as isopropyl alcohol for cleaning the inside of the valve and sealing surfaces and a lint-free wipe or cloth. To begin the procedure, you will need to remove the pneumatic airline or solenoid and electric connections from the valve, which will be attached here. Note the position of the airline port on the valve for correct reassembly perhaps by using a piece of tape or making a small mark with a pencil. Remove or cut the label that notes warranty is void if removed. Then proceed to remove the four silver bolts on the top of the valve using a 5 32 inch Allen wrench. Once the bolts are removed, you will remove the actuator cap and internals by gently pulling straight out of the valve. If the bonnet o-ring seal has adhered to the sealing surface in the body, carefully remove it by hand. You may need a tool to remove this o-ring. This tool should be a material softer than stainless steel to avoid scratching the sealing surface, such as this nylon knife that I'm using here. You may also need to use some isopropyl alcohol to clean any dirt or contaminants from the sealing surface and the inside of the valve. Before installation, the new O-ring seals will need to be installed onto the new internal. To do this, apply a small amount of the included Fomblin vacuum grease onto the seals. First, place the bonnet O-ring 
into the grooved area. Then install the nose piece o-ring by nesting the o-ring into the groove. With your thumbs at points 180 degrees apart, firmly press the o-ring into the groove. Move your fingers around the internal and press the o-ring again until it is completely installed into the groove. Using your lint-free cloth, wipe any excess grease from the internal before installation into the valve body. Gently insert the new internals into the valve body, making sure to align the airport in the correct position as you noted on the valve during disassembly. Install the replacement bolts, making sure to tighten them in an alternating fashion. The assembly installation is complete when the bottom of the black actuator is flush to the valve body and the bolts are tightened to 45 to 50 inch pounds, there will be a gap between the bottom of the actuator and the top of the valve body of approximately 10 thousandths of an inch. This is normal. Proceed to reinstall the pneumatic airline or solenoid and electric connections to the valve. MKS recommends that the valve be leak checked if possible to verify the O-rings are properly installed. Thank you for watching the replacement process for the internals on MKS valve LPV1-40 dash AK dash CNVS. Once again, the process is similar for most MKS isolation valves, including the following models. Please visit MKSINST.com for more information.